Monday Night Football from Marvel Stadium. Hi, I'm Anthony Hudson. We're live tonight at one of the great venues in the country, Marvel Stadium. Not often we have the roof open for a night match, but that's the case tonight. Alongside me for this match will be Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Thanks, I know I'm very excited about tonight's match. Fighting it out tonight are Collingwood and St Kilda. And the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. It's a big day for St Kilda Court. If they can get on top of the Collingwood defence, they'll go a long way to winning the game. sharp and the crowd are appreciating it the cheer squad's hard work is paying off the banners are looking great the captains make their way to the center circle for the coin toss. St Kilda wins the toss. Both these teams coming off good wins last week. We prepare for what shapes as an enthralling contest here today. And here we go. It's the Magpies taking on St Kilda. Hits the target by hand. Steele looks to work it from the turnover. Ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Didn't get away from that tackle. Big tackle. Fantastic tackle. More going for number one. A good result there, and that's a goal for the Magpies. He's enjoying that goal, and we have the first goal of the match. The game is back underway. Grundy won the hit out. Is in his possession. Needs a bit of a rest. A chance to reload the attack now. Patton tucks it into the pocket. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Goes by foot. Marks now and can send it back. Side bottom will kick from beyond the 50. Hits the post and it's a minor. The lead is now seven. Howard with the kick in duties. Plays on. It's a long kick. Off hands. Gresham slams it onto the boot. Ball gets cut off. Sinclair able to release the kick. Finding the loose ball was Rich. St Kilda keeping in touch. Unsure of their next move, Rough Air decides to go to himself. With a driving kick, Quaid doesn't take the mark. Side bottom takes it well. Chris goes to the man on the run. He has to hold on to those. Rushes with the kick. Parker will be upset with that. Gets it away. At full stride, receives the handball. Just releases the handball. Maynard gives it to the player running past. Finding the ball was Chris. Got hands to it. Wilkie gathers it now. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Moves the ball along the wing. Moore made a meal of that one. Thank you, I We'll have another ball up. 
What do you make of the game so far, Gary? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Now we'll get a ball up. Marshall with a big fist on it. Just put it on the boot. A race for the loose ball. Gresham kicking the tire up. That kick was pure. Yes, I know. His teammates rush over. The scores are all tied up. We're back in motion. Slapped away. Has it now. Gresham brushes off the tackle. Finds this and marks well. This should prove an easy angle for Abbott. Move it on. Going for goal number one. He sums up the situation and delivers. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? Smiles all round. St Kilda, Fleet Collingwood, 13 to 7. Great bit of play that resulted in that goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Centre bounce. Hammers it. Quainer collected the ball well. Puts on a bump. Marshall contests the hard ball. King heads onto the ground. The umpire calls for a stoppage. One down. The loose ball scooped up. Moved on by side bottom. Stands tall and marks. Goal scoring opportunity for Hoskin Elliott. 50 metres out. Moving on. Going for goal number one. It's going to be close. Drop pass straight through the middle. Hoskinelli love kicking that one. Scores level at the moment. We're back in the middle to resume play. Thumps it clear. Marshall controls this one. Moore getting a chance for a break. Ball up in the centre square. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. It's a turnover. Side bottom gives it a ride. And the chance at goal is taken by Collingwood. Gets his first. He acknowledges the crowd. Collingwood have kicked back-to-back -back goals. Six points the difference. Guides it down. Did well to control the ball. Beam puts another one through. Gets a reward for his efforts. A handy lead for the Magpies. Cox gets onto the ball. Does well to cut off the kick. Heads long with that kick. Easily takes the mark. Drives the kick hard. He takes the mark. Looks to move it by foot. He wins the ball in the air. Trelaw will have to put everything into this one. Got boot to ball. Off hands from Howard. Touched over the line. And through for a minor. Looking for options now. Plays onto himself. Looks up with a kick. Trelaw drops the mark. No luck from there. It's a behind. The margin is 14. Howard searching for a teammate. Plays on from the kick in. Thomas misses it home. And he puts through his first goal. His kick has extended their lead. They get around him after that effort. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. He did really well there and gets the reward. Back in the middle. Big thump from Cox. Gets on the end of this. Steel with a shorthand pass. Kicks hurriedly. Marks on the line. He's worked hard and 
probably needs a chance to rest. Trophy ball up to Kilda. But a celebrating hard. St Kilda produce the margin. About to resume hostilities. Collingwood are getting first use from their ruckman. Gresham hacking it out of there. The ball finds its way out of play. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Trelaw receives the ball. Stevenson finds possession. Quarter time approaching now. The ball spills to Oscanelli. A chance to put a second goal on the board. He celebrates hard after that. Collingwood starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 39 to 19. Cop Gary, how did you see that opening quarter? Collingwood grew up and about early, and I bet the coach would be happy with this lead at quarter time. The game was fairly open for the first quarter with plenty of goals to be had. Gresham on top of the ranking points. He's on fire at the moment. Ready to go for the second turn. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game with the ball now. Marshall doesn't make the tackle. Let him up, let him up. And the umpire will ball it up. Punches are clear. We'll get a stoppage. Punched away. Gresham clean from the half volley. I'll have it. Ball up in the centre square. Swats it. Just goes bang. Drop punt through the goals. That will settle the nerves. Gets his first on the board. Sinclair couldn't be happier with that goal. Some great ball movement there. He just knew they were going to score. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Collingwood can't winning as much of the footy, but are still controlling the contest. Their efficiency with the ball is superior at the moment. We resume hostilities. Thrashes it. Steele comes away with the ball. Marshall unable to apply the tackle. And we'll get a ball up. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This is a classic game we've seen right now. Moves it by foot. Puts on a big hit. Hoskinelli already has two goals. This for a third. Pretty happy with that one. Collingwood, but 20. About to resume play. Grundy thumps it forward. Jones runs onto the field. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Cox thrashes it. Beam just throws it. Abbott puts it on the boot. Takes a strong mark. Kicks along the wing. Takes the mark. Colin Wood haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect the forward to kick a winning title that one. Slams it on the boot. Good mark and looks to send it back. Releases by hand. The ball spills. He's got the football now. Majek gets the loose ball. Battle gets a quick kick away. He might kick a goal. The kick towards goal. Law getting the crowd involved. St Kilda has dropped more than two goals behind. Clears the contest. Grundy drives out the tackle. Handball finds Phillips. 
Bulls Bills. Still making his way onto the field. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Thump clear. Hacking it out of there. Ruffin spills it. Gathered by Moore. He makes that kick count. Full price. Celebrating hard. Collingwood doing well at the moment. Back in the middle as the Rucks go at it. Grundy thumped it clear. Hill handballs. Turned it over. Releases the handball. Gathers it now. Battle heading to the bench. The umpire calls for it. What can you tell us, Gaz? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Intercepted. No and now we'll have a ball up. Marshall got a fist to it. He likes his chances from here. It somehow fits over the line. Congratulated by his teammates. That's two in a row for Collingwood. Now they lead by 26. Swats it. Takes possession. A bit too hard with a push, and it's a free kick. Uses it by foot. Strong mark in the contest. Stevenson pushes a low ball. They chase after the loose ball. Howe unable to lay the tackle. Good body work to win the mark. 45 metres out. Okay. Can he put it through? On its way. A great goal. That's his first. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around? King. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. That's a really good team goal. It really hurts the Magpies when you aren't able to convert chances in front of goal, regardless of if you are winning or losing. Coaches hate missed shots. Uses it now. The mark is taken by Phillips. Puts boot to ball. It's marked by side ball. Dishes it off. The handball hits the target. Doesn't hold on to the mark. Caulfield short by hand. Thank you. My ball, says the umpire. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Punched away. It'll be a free kick for that high tackle. Gets onto a massive kick. He looks like he needs a spell. Hands that ball to the opposition with quick hands. Elliot blocks his chances from there. St Kilda by 26. Back with another centre bounce. Marshall hurls it away. Steele will be the recipient of the free. He drives it. Butler slowing down now. Might be in need of a rest. Runs out of room and will get a throw in. Grundy coming on. Umpire calls for a throw in. Toss back into play. Thumps it clear. The bounce made it tough for Chris. Clean pick up by Hill. Let him up, Robert. The umpire calls for the ball now. Punches it clear. Butler earns a free kick. So, what could St Kilda do with this opportunity in front of goal? This will have to be his very best kick to score from this far. 
Butler gets for home. Looks okay off the boot. Look at them celebrate that effort. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. We're back in the middle now. Grundy with the hit. Trelaw might have overworked himself there. Got the hands free. He gets his hands on the footy. Just leaves them in his wake. Great goal. Puts his second on the ball. Gresham loves that goal. They're gaining momentum here. Marshall with the punch. Marshall gets right in his face. Great tackling there, Hutto. It'll be a ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? It's a really entertaining game of football. Finds his man. Missed the target. Sweeping handball. Linking by hand. Quainak can send it back. And he stepped over the boundary line. Ball back into play. The siren sounds, and that's the end of the term. The scores. Collingwood, 63. To St Kilda, 49. Collingwood will go into the rooms at halftime with plenty of confidence and back themselves for the second half. Any thoughts from you, Gaz? Collingwood are doing a great job of applying pressure and creating turnovers. It's allowing them plenty of opportunities. Much appreciated, Gaz. It's half time, and no doubt the coaches will want to have a chat to their teams about their first half performance.
They're set to go at the start of the third quarter. Umpire ready to resume play. Winning it was Grundy. He gains possession. Quickly onto the boot. Great mark in the pack. Cox doesn't want to let his teammates down with this kick. About to take the kick. Slight angle. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. The drop pass is between the big sticks. That's his first. They crease their lead. Cox celebrates with the fans. Collingwood by 20 points. Collingwood are taking advantage of their Ruckman's ability. It gives them first use at the stoppages and forcing the opposition to defend. Hoskinelli takes a strong mark. Not sure if he has the journey from here. Needs a bit of a rest. He gives it a ride. Kick on the way. Summed it up. And he delivers perfectly. And that puts them further in front. Hoskinelli enjoying that goal. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Some great ball movement there. It just knew they were going to score. St Kilda haven't been able to get the ball forward enough to score. They need to get some repeat entries inside 50 to generate some scoring. We're back in motion. Grundy clears the contest. Adams rushes with the kick. A quick handball from Ross. Doing well to intercept that kick. Ruffin elects to kick. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hanno. He's gone missing lately. Long gets the ball. Looks OK off the boot. He's excited about that one. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Phillips finds his man on the move. A skill error there. He wins possession. Putting on the bump was Jones. Well collected. It's cut off by Gresham. Goes by hand to Butler. Kick on the way. and Kilda have kicked the last two goals. This game can still go either way. Thrashes it. He's got the footy in his hands. Just dismisses his opponent. Dacos, hurry kick. Cox had it, lost it. Clark throws the ball away. Stevenson with a chance if he can keep his cool. He looks like he needs a spell. The kick towards goal. Stevenson wouldn't be happier with that goal. The lead is now 20. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for Everton. That's a really good team goal. About to resume hostilities. Hammers it. He has the ball. Steele won himself a free. Decides to kick. Billings runs after this one. Just gets it onto the boot. Elliot tries his luck at goal. Could kick back to back goals. Now they lead by 26. This is how they can score big cut out. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. The game is back underway. Clears the contest. Tries to gain some territory. Spent that one before he earned it. Oh, it. Now it's a ball up. 
What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. Kick by Sinclair. A mark by Nader. Chose to kick it. A clean collect. Chris just put it on the boot. The ball ends up going to ground. How? Just landed in his back. Chips it towards half forward. Parker wins the marking contest. Big kick required from this distance. Should be relatively straightforward from here. Using every ounce of energy he has left. What a fantastic goal. That will set up the nerves. Gets his first on the board. He acknowledges the crowd. Centre bounce. Marshall thumps it clear. The handball now from Steele. Goes for the goals. On its way. Unbelievable. And they put it through. Congratulated by his teammates. St Kilda have kicked the last two goals. Margin within touching distance. He can take off after that handball. Jones not getting much of a gas. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, have not he? Now we've got a ball up. Thump clear. Thank you. Punches it clear. Uses the bump. Does well to keep it in play. He's got the football now. Doing well with the mark. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Collingwood, forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50 and just need to be given a shot. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Chris uses it by foot. Trelaw kicks it. He took his arm to with him and sat up on top. Goes short by hand. The umpire will ball it up. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Great tackle. The tackle slipped high and results in a free. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He needs to find a way into this game. He runs it over the line. Ball toss back in. Thumps it clear. This is Parker. Just gave it away. Wants to keep it moving. Takes possession. Stevenson quickly under the boot. Colin Wood call out on too many marks inside the opposition 450. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Elects to keep moving. Intercepts the ball well. Well, it'll be a ball up near the boundary line. Clears the contest. A good job keeping it in play there. Unfortunately, not for long as the ball goes out. Thrown in now. He couldn't hang on. Grundy needs to lift. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to him and give him some instructions. We'll get a ball up. Punched away. Adam pushes through with power. Wilkie landed in his back on this occasion. Opportunity now for Thomas. Using every ounce of energy he has left. He's put it through. His kick puts them further in. Thomas love kicking that one. 20 points the difference. Marshall just swats it away. Advances through the tackle. At the end of three quarters, it's Collingwood 93, St Kilda 73. Collingwood will want to keep the foot on the accelerator and finish this last quarter strongly. A high-scoring third term sees opportunity for both sides heading into the final quarter. Let's have a closer look at the stats. 
St Kilda need to tie. Last quarter action, ready to go. Can't afford any mistakes from here. They have to be perfect. Thrashes it. He gets his hands on the footy. Goes by hand. He gains possession. Sinclair collects the most ball. Picking it up was Gresham. He's really turning it on now. Celebrating hard. St Kilda good in the three goals now. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. We're back in the middle. Thump clear. The ball in the hands of Sinclair. Parker didn't mark it. Kleiner gets in the way. Great mark. Goes with the kick. He got up high, but couldn't bring it down. Just landed in his back. Putting this one through would give St Kilda plenty of confidence. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. Ross looks in need of a spell. He delivers with the drop punt. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. It's under two goals now. Great bit of play that resulted in that one. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. St Kilda have been poor with their ball use. They've turned it over on too many occasions, and it's allowing the opposition chances to score. Couldn't take it. Well picked up. Wilkie with a penetrating handball. Moves the ball by foot. Takes that one strongly. This will certainly test him from this distance. Parker needs a chance to rest. It's going to be close. Just under two goals, the difference now. Decides to play on there. The kick from the rough end. Ends up turning this ball over. Battle with the opportunity in front of goal. Going for goal number one. Kick on the way. Battle getting the crowd involved. The Saints have three in a row. St Kilda now only trailed by one. Grundy won the hit out. Ball up called. The game is tightened right up. Spots it. He has the ball. Gresham kicks hurriedly. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. The scores are tied. Searching for a teammate. Plays on. Puts it on the boot. Adams couldn't keep his hands on it. Slams it onto the boot. Long found a way to mark that one. 40 metres out, almost directly in front here. It looks like he needs a spell. The kick towards goal. Long loves that goal. St Kilda have kicked the last four goals. Still enough time to turn this around. Hammers it with the ball now. Taken well at ground level by Grundy. That's something to smile about. Pretty happy with that one. It's all level here. Back with another set of bounce. Thump clear. Opportunity for Hill. Pendlebury couldn't complete the tackle. Here's Parker. Intercepted by Dacos. Receives the handball and takes off. Abbott running off for a break. Now it's a ball up. Thump by Grundy. Adams just gets it onto the boot. Clark got hands to it. 
Slips the handball to Battle. Scoops up the ball. Gets a quick kick away. Marks in a bit of space. Needs a bit of a rest. Driving kick inside 50. Nobody can hold on here. What a lovely goal from there. He celebrates hard after that. The game hangs in the balance. We resume hostilities. Spots it. He wins possession. Dugowie moves it by hand. And now they're away. Steady hands there as he holds that one. They can take the sting right out of the game here. Majek works well on the boot for goal. The drop pass goes straight between the big sticks. He's excited about that one. Two goals the margin for Collingwood. Back in the middle to resume play now. Grundy thumps it forward. Getting pushed out of the way. Gresham ends up with Pendlebury. Finds the loose ball. Intervening brilliantly was Trelaw. Moore short by hand. That is a stunning goal. Pendlebury enjoying that goal. That's four in a row for Collingwood. Collingwood with a three-goal lead. Marshall looking a bit sluggish out there. No issues with that drop pass. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around? Sinclair. St Kilda. The margin back within three goals. Links with hands. Thank you, guys. I'll have it. Ball up called. What can you tell us, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. Gresham with quick hands. A chance to gather the ball. Penetrating handball. Has a runner alongside him. He's got the footy in his hands. Hit the man hard. Applying the physical pressure. My footy. We'll have another ball up. Marshall hurls it away. Made the tricky bounce look easy. Hurried kick. Intercepts the ball very well. Coffee drives the kick. Great mark under pressure. Elects to kick. A good mark out of the circumstances. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Collingwood have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Ends up turning this ball over. A piercing kick from Long. Sinks the slipper into it. Finds a target. Billings goes with the kick. Yet another possession. Runs it over the boundary line. The umpire will throw it back into play. Umpire tosses it in. Clears the contest. Not their best performance. St Kilda will be searching for improvement for their next game. Your final word on today's game, Gary. Collingwood left it all on the field. they come away with a chance. Thanks. Final scores are 117 to 105. That's all for today. On behalf of myself and